This is Diana. She has been dedicating the past few years of her life to take care of her amazing family. Her family consists of stray dogs, abandoned dogs, and dogs rescued from abused owners. She and a few teammates take care of the well-being of every member of this big, beautiful family. For the past four years, these dogs have been her everything. Feeding them, treating them, and rescuing them from abuse and slaughter is what she has been doing every single day. All these years have not been free from challenges for Diana. She put in her everything for this cause. Her money, property, even her personal relationships have been sacrificed for the welfare of these animals. I met her last year when I rescued a wonderful dog, Naya, during my vacation in Lebanon. Sadly, I had to go back to Australia a few days later and I couldn't take her with me. So, my friend told me about Diana and about her mission. That's when I decided to go meet her and take Naya with me. I learned about how she rescued a dog first, then another, then another, and then another, until her house was full and couldn't accommodate anymore. That's when she had to rent a place a bit far away from people where she could board a lot more dogs than the house could. Diana was in a bad shape in her life. People started to complain and threaten her and her dog's lives. She needed help to feed the dogs and her bills kept piling up. And then the owner asked her and the dogs to move out. She had managed to survive on her personal savings with little or no help at all coming her way. She recently moved to this property in El Shouf, Lebanon. It's an unfinished house that needs a lot of building and fixing at least some sort of base infrastructure as a fence to allow the dogs to play outside freely and exercise without having to worry about them escaping or being attacked by outsiders. As I listened to her journey, her commitment and perseverance left me inspired, and I felt a responsibility upon myself to help her out in whichever way possible. The power of people coming together in support of a cause creates miracles and achieves the impossible. However, I am not asking the impossible from you. I am asking for as much help as you can provide to help make a decent home to her family. One, building fences to protect the animals from local intruders who try to kidnap, shoot, or poison the shelter's animals. Two, sterilizing equipment to clean the shelter from bacteria and anything that might cause harm or sickness to the dogs. Three, snake repellents and other repellents for poisonous insects. Four, as some of these animals are not neutered, their population is exploding and neutering them is essential. Five, monthly expenses. Six, medical supplies such as vaccination. Since the costs of these urgent and important projects are beyond my capacity, I have decided to open a GoFundMe account for a fundraising campaign where I have pledged to help raise at least $50,000. Such humans who give their everything in exchange for nothing are truly rare. So I urge you all to come forward and show your support to Diana and her wonderful family of over 150 dogs. She told me once and I quote, My dogs are the ones helping me. I'm not the one helping them. I don't see that I saved a dog's life by taking it out of the street. I see that it has saved my life. Diana knows that every dog is worth fighting for. So let's all fight for Diana.